Okay, so what is the goal of what we are learning? First, we want to, um, when you work with ego or any PCB design um, software, first you have a schematic which you know how it works. So, for example, you have a diet or an LED connected to a resistor, connected to battery. Let's say something like this, a very simple schematic of a circuit. So that will be the schematic part of the software. You are going to build this, what we are going to do today, or in a couple of, in this week, basically. We are going to um, draw our schematic, and then the software will, then you choose, you choose, okay, I want this particular LED from this particular manufacturer. I want this particular uh, resistor and so on. And then with the software, you're going to put everything on a board. Eventually what you want is you want to create a, printed circuit board. So everything will be here and then you can ship it to manufacture your uh, your board. So that's the goal. We want to give the schematic to, to the software and then convert it to a board and eventually we want to send it to the manufacturer. So before sending it, you have to let your manufacturer know that with what parts and what numbers, what is the length of, for example, your um, resistor, give it some specifications. So we are going over all of that. First, I'm going to show you how to draw this in a schematic and how to convert it to the board, and then eventually um, we'll send our design to the manufacturer to get printed. Okay, so the software we are going to use is um, Eagle, and you have already you already should know how to download it. Now that you have this, let's look at what's happening here. So I have libraries, as you see, I have design blocks, design rules user language programs, scripts, cam jobs, spice models, projects, okay? So we'll go through all of them. Libraries are basically when you want to borrow common electric components, um, you use libraries. Design blocks, you can deploy your design here, basically. Design rules, um, these are just the rules of the manufacturer for each component. And then scripts are, you can add the stuff to Eagle as you will see later. And we'll go through all of that. Projects are where you keep your files. Um, all the files you, when you create a file, you save it in project. So as I said, we're going to start with a schematic and um, then the board view. So just to show you, for example, this can be a board view of an LED connected to a resistor ground and um, this is your our power for the same schematic that I showed you. Eventually, your schematic will be converted to something like this. Okay, so um, when you when you look at the board view, it's important that you see they all have. You should think of the parts you're going to use. Um, for example, here I don't have an IC, but if you have, if you're using an integrated circuit, uh, you should think of the package. Is it the one that I'm using? Is it through hole technology? Is it surface mount technology uh, because surface mount technologies uh, ICs they are smaller 
and um, depends on the application uh, you can use either so you have to specify which kind of ICs you are using for example now let's start from libraries um, I if I click on libraries you see that um, I already have Adafruit, Eagle, and SparkFun. You don't have that when you download Eagle first. So you have to download some libraries that are uh, easy to use. Um, I find Adafruit and SparkFun are easy to use libraries. So the first thing we are you are going to do to download these libraries. As I said, they're easy to use and search. So what you have to do is you have to update your Eagle library directory. So how would you do that? You go and Google basically um, How to install Adafruit? Just how to install Adafruit? Like Autodesk Eagle. Okay, so it comes installing a SparkFun and Adafruit libraries. Just click on it. And this page should come up. When you go down, download your libraries. As you see, both of them are here. The SparkFun library, GitHub, and Adafruit library, GitHub. Um, you should get both of them. So what you have to do, you have to click on it. And then go to code and download zip. Once it comes here, you have to, wherever you save it, wherever you save it, for me it's in downloads, of course it's in downloads, right? So, um, so it's here, then go to Eagle, and go to directories and in libraries what you have to do you have to save it so last time i saved it um, because i already have it so this is the address that i saved it if you're using windows after going to directories put semicolon and copy paste the address here. If, you're, you, if you have a Mac, do the same thing, just put colon here instead of semicolon. So once you do that, once you copy paste it, you press okay and then You go to libraries and then right click on, then Adafruit Eagle and SparkFun should appear in your library. Then right click and then press on use all. Do it for both SparkFun and Adafruit. So SparkFun and Adafruit are just two companies that uh, manufacture these parts. So now that you have their libraries, it's um, easy for you to, when you create your board, eventually uh, order them or let your manufacturer know what parts you want on your board. So, and they are easy to use, easy to search. That's why um, I recommend adding 
the libraries, Adafruit and Sparkfun. Okay. Now that you have the libraries that you need, what I want you to do, go to File and go to New and then go to Project. So File, New, let me close. So File, go to File, New, Project. And then right click on your, so this new project, let's call it lab one. Okay, and then right click on it and go to new schematic. So this page will come out, which is where you draw your schematic, okay? Um, what, is, um, what is the schematic? It's the abstraction of parts of the circuit that you're going to use. So I think, uh, press on grid and display on. It's not okay. Uh, now that you have grease, it's, it's easier to put the parts. Now for now, we are going to use through hole components. And what I want to do is exactly the circuit that I built here. So I have an LED. Um, I have a resistor. And I have power and ground. So this will be my power pin. This will be my ground pin. That eventually something will be connected here to power up your circuit. Now, when you want to uh, draw a schematic, you should think about the parts you're going to use. Now for LED, uh, what I'm going to use is the generic spark one. And for resistor, I'm going to use a spark one as well. So from the beginning, you have to think where you're, where you're going to get your components from. Um, now I'm getting it from a spark one, as I said, it's a company. So I'm going to use LED that uh, is created or manufactured by spark one and resistor as well. For uh, when you draw the schematic for positive and negative parts, um, what you have to do is, I mean, when you create a schematic to create a board eventually, you create pads. So you have a pad for ground and, so because this is LED, this side is negative, right? So this will be your ground. This will be the power. So you're creating two pads. These are called pads for ground and power because eventually you're going to connect your power source here, right? And okay, so let's do that here. I was in a schematic, so what you're going to do is you're going to click on this icon. When you scroll on it, it says add a part. You see here, um, when I go on it and click, okay, so you can search. For example, I want LED. I don't want surface mount because I'm going to use through hole components. So you can uncheck that. So LED, and press OK. 
now for add a fruit as you see add a fruit is coming if you go down i want to use these are from eagle library and as you go down you see a spark line so here you see a spark line because of the library you downloaded you can use the parts from a spark line now i'm going to use led generic so press a so you need to create the attributes for your led so you open it up so this is led generic then you can uh, choose the size. I'm going to use three millimeter this is five millimeter I'm going to use the first one three millimeter LED and I press on OK. Now it comes here. you just click on it. And then press escape, escape twice to get rid of. Otherwise, you can put LEDs um, and copy it. But you want, if you want to get rid of it, you just put escape, escape. Now you have one LED. Um, if you click on this, zoom to fit, you can see it better. Now, what you want to do is maybe. Um, rotate it so you can click on rotate and then come here once you create and rotate um, you see this line click on it it will rotate okay now i want to add a resistor here so i again go to add part and search for a resistor and again i want to use a spark fun so i go down here are spark fun stuff i want to use resistor spark fun general generic resistor this one and then click on it and i want to use axial let me see if i can open this okay so the information is here i'm going to use an axial resistor and if you want to do that, you click on it. That will be your attribute. Then you can add the resistor here. And then escape, escape. And then do this so you can see it better. Okay. So now I have my resistor and an LED. Now I need to put two pads here power and ground so i go back and i will need pads now okay. so for pads again So I'm going to use the pad from Eagle Library, LSP11. I'm going to use this pad. Uh, so it's a soldering, solder, soldering pad, uh, pad. Uh, so click on OK. And then I need to, one for power and one for ground. Um, 
and then escape, escape. So let's move them a bit. You have to, you have to click on, if you want to move them, click on move and then go on this small line you see, click on it and then move it. Uh, for now, uh, I made a mistake of like adding them very close because eventually I want to put wires in between them. So I'm going to delete this. So put some space between them. And if you want to turn this, you go to rotate. And then you see this is a small line, you just press on it to rotate it for you. Same thing here. Okay, and then escape once you're done. If you want to move it, you click on this, move. Again, you find that a small line, you click on it and you can bring it up, for example. Same thing here. Okay. So that's your very simple schematic for an LED connected to an axial resistor uh, and two pads, two, one for power, one for ground. Now let's incorporate names and values to our schematic. For example, um, I want to, uh, instead of saying LSP1 here, I, I want to change it with power or PWR. So what I want to do is change the name. Now, in order to change the names, you have to click on name. So for that, uh, come here, scroll on this one, it says name. You see R2? name so click on it and click on the small line again so new name i'm going to call it power pwr okay um i'm going to call this led new name led okay and this one is R1, I think it's okay. This one ground. So again, click on it and GND. So when you're clicking, uh, find, you see this a small line here? You should uh, click on those a small line that is uh, sticking out. Uh, otherwise you get an, uh, it wouldn't work. Now, what about value? Let's put for value for this one, I want to uh, have, for example, 330, 330 ohm. And um, yeah, let's go back. Now I want to change the value of this. If you click on this and go on value, click on value, then click on this, yeah, new value of R for R1, uh, let's put it 330. So that's the value for the resistor. That's how you change the value. Again, you click on this and this will change the value. This will change the name. Now let me put some wires in between. In order to put wires, you, if you scroll here, this one says net, this one says boss, click on net and then connect them together. And then escape, escape. Okay, so um, these wires for now, they are air wires and 
uh, eventually you will see how you can add um, actual wires. So these are now uh, air wires. They're not actually connected. Now let's move to the board. That's the exciting part. Let's say you have a schematic and you want to move it to the board. What you do is you come here. It says generate switch to board. So press on it. Yeah. Okay. So you see my parts are here. Um, they in, before moving on, it's important that you see both windows should be open when you're working with EGL. If you close one of them, then um, that would shut down your uh, schematic. So be careful. At this point, a schematic should be open as well. Now here, you have... Now let's turn on the grid. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move them from here. This is the circuit you just made on a board to, to your actual board. So let's move it. Just click on it and bring it here. As I said, these are air wire. This is your ground, your LED, and your power. So this is your actual board. As you see, it's too big. So eventually what I want to do, I want to cut it because when you send it for manufacturing, you have to give them the dimensions. So I'm going to move them actually to the corner. That's not a good place for them to be. Let's bring them here. Or actually I can move the board here, so it's fine. So let's move them closer and closer. This one doesn't want to move. So I move this one. Okay. Okay. So now these are, as I said, our air wires for now. Uh, I have put my power, I have my uh, ground, I have my LED and a resistor. Um, now, what? Now, at this point, you have to think about your board. So you come here. You see this layer. Click here and go to twenty dimension. Click on twenty dimension. Now, the, um, let's go to. board and make it a smaller I found a good looking board so Okay, something like that. So this is a fully enclosed board. Now it's time to convert the air wires that you have here to actual wires. So I want you to come here and press and type auto on top here and then press enter. Um, leave the effort to low and press on continue and start and job. So you see the, the wires became red, which they are now wires. Uh, these wires that I chose because why they're red? Because when you come here, 
it says the top layer is red. That's why they become red. Now, uh, what if, if you want to get rid of the uh, wires? What should you do? You can come here and type rip up and put semicolon and press enter. Rip all signals, yes, and you see they disappeared. So again, I'm going to put wires here. So you type auto, continue, top router, start, and enter. So these are my wires. I have power, LED, resistor, graph. Okay. Now, now I want to, um, you see it's good, but these power ground are bigger than the resistor is here that I can't even see. If I make it bigger, then you can see 330. Otherwise, you can't see. So let's um, fix the fonts here. What you can do is go to change, go to size, going to ch uh, choose 50 and I'm going to press on the X. That's 50, that's 50. Okay, so it looks much better now. You can change it again maybe to uh, 50 maybe 66 so this is 66 this is 66 the um the exact spot that will change it yes okay so um, these are this is how you find you change the font. So again, you go to change and then side uh, size. Okay. So now let's say this is my board is ready, and this is what I want to send to manufacturing. So you click on manufacturing. And here is your first board. See, this is your LED power R1 and um, ground. So you were able to create your first board. Um, congratulations. Now, after this, we are going to create um, our own library. So parts are basically easier to find. That will be our next lesson.